The banks in most Western nations are vulnerable to bail-ins. Pull you money while you can, the IMF is coming after it. When and not if Deutsche Bank goes bust, it will take down the EU with it, and the rest of the world will follow. Deutsche Bank is the most important bank in all of Europe, it has $45 trillion in exposure to derivatives, I mean, what entities can cover 45 trillion euros? Even if only 10% of that total tranche is bad, that's 70% more than the Fed's balance sheet. We all know the high-risk derivatives aren't only 10% of total set of dominoes. That half trillion dollar bad bank thing is basically legalized Enronics. This so-called Deutsche Bank is the equivalent of 500 megaton bomb and its timer is accelerating to zero. Boom. The so-called restructuring is only about biding time, calming the financial markets, maybe even lulling the market to sleep for a bit. No one wants to look under the hood if they don't have to, no one did five years ago when the massive problem was already festering and evident. We are in for a rude awakening. The thing with bank runs is, they usually accelerate before there is a lockout. I'd be surprised if Deutsche Bank has coverage of anything more than 1% of their total exposure. I'll throw out a number, 200. Yes 200 days before Deutsche Bank runs out of liquidity and the ability to fund its rent on liabilities and closes its doors, maybe another 50 after that before the ECB goes insolvent rehypothecating bonds to bail out Deutsche Bank and needs a bailout in special drawing right SDR, though not before bond yields hit the moon and hyperinflation in the eurozone takes hold. Get your money out. It is not earning anything at all, and the risk is mounting. If you do not take it out the banks will steal it. If Deutsche Bank goes down, it will bring down with it BNP of France, and you will have about two weeks before the US banks declare an unscheduled banking holiday. There is an ever-growing threat of a Cyprus-style haircut in the US. Few years ago Cyprus closed their banks and when they reopened accounts below 100,000 euros were missing 40% and those above 100,000 euros lost 60%. This is what is called a bail-in. The European community quickly and quietly passed laws to do the same theft if they deemed it necessary. The US waited about two months and quietly passed similar legislation. The European community just changed the rules by abolishing any and all deposit insurance. Actually it is worse than that because if the bank is totally insolvent they can take every dollar in the bank, and if that is not enough they can come after the depositors for the balance. With fractional reserve banking allowing banks to loan at 30 times the deposits also means if 1 30th of the loans go sour the bank is barely solvent. If 1 15th of the loans go sour the bank is totally insolvent. What makes this worse is the small banks are already at about 40 to 1 and the big banks are pushing 60 to 1. The last I heard the Federal Reserve Bank that prints our money is at 77 to 1. The Great Recession, Second Depression caused the Treasury to borrow trillions to loan to the large banks to increase their reserves because they were insolvent. The key words are the banks were insolvent and only the intervention by the US Treasury and Federal Reserve Bank kept the entire banking system from collapsing in 2008-2009. Obama did this in a way that the taxpayers are on the hook to pay it back. Since 2008-2009, nothing has changed for the better within the banking system, if anything it has grown worse. As I said before the Europeans no longer have deposit insurance. The day the US passes legislation to do the same, I suggest you be first at the bank to cash out your account or better yet immediately begin to reduce your account to cash in hand slowly and buy precious metals with that money. The banking system is a house of cards which is being held up by the Federal Reserve Bank who prints money based upon loans they have made to the Treasury and big banks. If the big banks go down the Federal Reserve Bank will go down because it will push them way beyond a 100 over 1 ratio of loans to deposits, and their only solvent loans will be the loans to the US Treasury, who will shortly go broke because all of the deposits of businesses will have been seized and commerce will have stopped. Why try to save when the deck is stacked so the workers lose everything and will still owe money to pay off the bank's remaining debt? So dear friend, get your money out of the banking system as fast as you can while you still can. This was the Atlantis Report, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.